Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kobe Lomax. I am the CEO of Curly Hair, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I refresh my curly hair. We're going to be taking it from that to this. So after a couple of days, my hair gets pretty dry and frizzy, and so the main purpose of refreshing my hair is just to put some moisture back into my hair, as well as to define my curls again. So I start off by sectioning off the back section. I kind of go in three layers, the back, then the middle, and then the front. So we're just going to start off on the back section, and I'm going to be using in the same leave-in and gel that I use to style my hair. So I use this My Organics Leave-In Conditioner Pomegranate and Honey one. It is very moisturizing. This is what I'm gonna be using to rehydrate my hair and then we are going to be going in with the Old and Faithful Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel to style my hair and get that definition that I love. So you're gonna start off by wetting your hair and y'all, forgive me, I still need to get a spray bottle. So for right now, I'm just using the sink, but I just go ahead and take some water from the sink and throw it in my hair just to really get that section that I'm about to work on wet because y'all know our hair love 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 loves water and once my hair is drenched in water I go ahead and take some of the leave-in and then I go ahead and rub it in my hair and really just work it all the way through my hair to make sure all my hair is getting really nice and moisturized and like I said I really love this leave-in it was very moisturizing had a really good slip and it just made my hair feel so so soft and I really appreciate it I feel like it really had my back you know what I'm saying and if you didn't see my last curly hair routine video, I showed you guys a trick where you can rub your hands together in a circular motion wet and it will clump all your hair together that's like on your hands. And so I do that too during this process because when I am refreshing my hair, I do have a little bit of shed hairs come out and so that they don't go down your drain and clog your drain. And now you got to call a plumber, you got to call maintenance. Just go ahead and do that thing and get it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just working the gel in my hair and I'm kind of like gliding it over my hair or like almost like squeezing it over my hair. I don't know if squeeze is the right term, but it's like just don't too roughly comb your fingers through your hair because it kind of like combs the curls out. You know, you kind of want to be gentle with it. I feel like you kind of get the flow when you're doing it, but I also, if you guys notice, I keep adding water because I feel like when you want your natural curl pattern to pop, you really want to have more water, like have your hair super wet because I feel like the more wet your hair is, the more your natural curl pattern can sort of shine as opposed to if you are trying to do something like finger coils or something that is a little bit more manipulative of your hairstyle then you want to use less water because then your hair is not trying to like curl into its own and it kind of allows you to mold it how you want it to look i don't know if that makes sense but i'm hoping you guys are picking up what i'm putting down and also if that was too confusing let me know down in the comments below i can make a full dedicated video to what i just said like about how the more water you have, the more your curls kind of pop in their own way versus the less water, the more you can manipulate your curls. But now I'm literally just doing the same thing around the rest of my head, just wetting my hair, adding the leave-in to add some moisture, and then putting the gel in and just working it through gently to kind of help the curls pop, adding water to help the curls pop even more. And then I also do scrunch from time to time, but I find that if I scrunch too much, it kind of like makes my ends a little frizzy. So I don't like to do it too much, you know, just be gentle with it and another thing that I like to do is scrunch my hair with wet the hands and gel is on the hands like I'll put some gel on my hands wet my hands and then scrunch I just feel like that kind of helps the curls not break up so much because I notice if I scrunch too much my ends get a little frizzy also this is not really 100% necessary but as you guys can see I have this orange clip in my hair I just kind of clipped the way the part of my hair that I already did so that way I wasn't messing with it and again now does it really like mess up anything for me personally not really like if I was putting product on a section that I already finished it's just you're doing the same thing over and over again so it doesn't really change it much in my opinion but I don't know I just kind of like to be like alright this is done let me focus on this new section so that way I can make sure I'm getting all of this hair and like really getting it nice and defined. But yeah, and then I just continue this over the rest of my head. I can definitely say that refreshing my hair when I'm wearing it like this in my more natural curl pattern, it is a lot easier to and quicker to do my hair and it is a lot easier to refresh my hair. I can say though, when I do the finger coils, it's a lot of work on the first day, but it lasts me all week. Where when I do my hair like this, it lasts me about three, four days before I need to refresh it again. And then I'll normally wash it every Sunday. Plenty, 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 so far we be fixed. Just to make your money, yeah. But my people then go say, I know one want die. I know one want die. I know one want die. I want enjoy. I want chop life. I want buy motor. I want build house. I still want to know. Let me tell me. What's it come? Do you want to go? Oh, depends. Let's go. 
And once I have that worked all around my head, then this is the final result while my hair is still wet. And I normally like to let my hair air dry because I notice if I diffuse it right away like this, it just makes my ends a little more frizzy. And y'all know I kind of want the definition on the ends because that's the part of your hair that everybody sees. But as you guys can see, my natural curl pattern is really just popping here. We just let, hydrated our hair, wet it so that our natural hair pattern could pop. And then we put the gel on it to sort of capture that and hold it in place and this will last me until my next wash day and this is my hair when it has completely dried as you guys can see the curls are still popping especially on the side I didn't even notice but the curls on the side of my head are going crazy I am obsessed but I love this look as I started doing this I'm more and more starting to fall in love with how perfectly imperfect my natural curl pattern is and I am just obsessed so and this is what it's all about you know just exploring and experimenting and trying new ways to sort of love your hair in whatever way you choose to style it you know at whatever point in time in your life that you're at you know what I'm saying uh, but yeah I think I would definitely continue to keep styling my hair like this for a while I might switch back and forth because sometimes I do love the perfection of finger coils but y'all I am very in love with these results, you know, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're looking forward to more videos and I will see y'all in my next video.